Hello guys and welcome to another episode of the DMG Tech Show. I'm your host Jonathan Parkinson. In this episode we're talking about Titanium Backup, which is going to be for rooted Android devices. Now what Titanium Backup is, as you can see here, it's just a simple application that's going to be able to backup and as well remove that bloatware that we hate. So if you're not a fan of bloatware, this is definitely going to be the application that you're going to want to come and get. Uh, the price does fluctuate depending on when you're watching this video. There is some sales sometimes to get it. So maybe if you're watching this around the holidays, you might want to check it out. And hopefully you can get this for like a dollar or so. Otherwise, I think it's about five dollars. Uh, what this application is, is it's going to let you see all your apps in the background. And that includes system applications. So if you're on AT&T, Verizon, Sprint, or any of those type of services, chances are you have some bloatware even if you're just using a Samsung device there's tons of stuff on there as you can see and so what you can do is you can either freeze it which is what I recommend or you can uh, remove it but you can also come in here and check kind of what apps are taking up the most system data and you can kind of see it in a nice little graph uh, it makes it a little easier to see what your what's hogging up your data or sorry your storage inside your Android device and go decide you know do you need to keep that or not but as you see, there's the freeze button, as well as the uh, backup and all that. And what you want to do is choose freeze. The reason I, I, you know, everybody kind of decides to do that is because if you remove it and you have to do a factory reset, you're actually removing that application completely. So you're not going to have it when you do that. And it can cause some errors. So freezing it is going to be where you see as that blue over it. So once you click to freeze it, uh, it'll just... Uh, stop it from working so it, the way you see the force stop inside of system applications inside of your settings or application manager should I say uh, this is going to do that force stop but forever so it's kind of like a disable but almost it's more assuring that it's disabled completely because not every application is has the ability to be disabled so that's what titanium backup does now you can go in here and you know f do whatever you want to do but do kind of take you know a little cautious you don't just disable everything or should I say freeze everything uh, you know take don't do anything that's like super heavy where it says like system something because that you know that can cause you some problems but you can do all that bloatware uh, you can remove stuff like on my AT&T devices I'll have like flipboard and all that type of stuff and I don't want that on my device so I just I can rem I know I can remove that and not have a problem but as far as the AT&T actual uh, applications as well as the Samsung because I'm on the Note 3 right now that I don't want to remove those applications so I just freeze those and I don't have to worry about them. Uh, you do want to and uh, another good thing about this is you can back up your entire device. So when you back up your device you will be able to um, then when you like put on a new ROM let's say or if you're going to do a factory restore, instead of having to go into the marketplace and download everything and restore everything that way, you can just restore it straight from Titanium Backup. Uh, it makes restoring things so much quicker. That's the one thing about changing ROMs is it kind of becomes a pain in the ass if you are constantly changing stuff and having to restore all those apps. So this way it just makes it a quick one-two, done. And uh, as you can see, here's all the abilities to do a whole system run so you don't have to kind of individually do it. Uh, you'll notice in the top right hand corner as well that is a check mark with a little piece of paper. You just press that and that's where you can select and choose multiple applications at once. Um, so that's pretty much it when it comes to the entire I guess operation of titanium backup. There's tons of options in there. Uh, do be careful though if you're kind of getting new into the Android rooting world Android rooting world sorry <laughs> uh, the reason is is because you can do a lot of damage if you remove or freeze the wrong applications so before you do all this obviously make a backup uh, so go into your either your recovery mode and do a backup that way if you are rooted if you're not rooted and you don't need to worry about this because you're not going to be dealing with this application and uh, there you go so just type in uh, titanium backup into the Play Store once you've rooted and you'll be able to find it and you can uh, get it right there. Uh, thanks for watching. If you do have any questions or comment, as always, leave them in the uh, section below. And I'll catch you guys next time.